And now the same pairs. La pièce de résistance. Repair is sufficient now, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's been rough that he's been in Paris all summer. Every morning to say sup wyd but now that we're on the same campus he didn't even hit me to say he was back i was gonna hit you up when i got in but the flight was mad long and i was just mad tired it's cool so you're upset honestly since the oh. raids just a i'm just super tired no no um just and i kind of waited three months to see you Set and gloom. So there we were. Finally, I could see him, touch him, smell him. Then he smiles at me and says, So. And I say, So. And he says, What do you want to do? So I say, What do you want to do? And he says, You know what I want to do. So then I say, I know what you want to do and I want to do it too. And I just knew this was. We were finally going to be together, in person, no more virtual kisses. This is a courageous boom. Wow. I've been dying for this. This Paris weed is trash. Do you have a lighter? This kimono doesn't have pockets on it. So we grabbed a blanket, moved to the couch. He started playing with my hair. He goes, you stop pulling head ass. <sighs> I told he had the nerve to say, maybe you should rock more buns. So we tried to just chill and watch a movie. I figured if anyone could get us there, Hugh Grant could. And when the music swells at the end of the movie, I made sure he had a blanket so he wasn't cold. I left. So my girls had confirmed what I'd been scared to admit. Luca and I were out of sync. I love a softly lit ambiance. God, I agree. I agree with you completely since we're on the same page and all, you know? Right. Listen, this floor feels like it's ugh, filled with severed heads. Where should we sit? In the oh, back. Front, in the back. I love the back, actually. I don't know why I said it. Ugh. So I got a bunch of dope stuff lined up for you guys. Honestly, we got barbecues, brunches, pool parties. But... <laughs> Are you? Can I help you? No, we're being adorable. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. Well, my alignment's off right now. My chakras are unbalanced. Okay. Guys, tonight we got our hands. Future and his kingdom is stripped away. So while Aaron's choice in movies was bumming everyone the hell out, I was determined to get things with Luca back to being enviously adorable. Vegan again, I told you. No, you didn't. And just don't take this the wrong way, but shh. Okay, dude, I'm trying to be cool with this whole vegan thing, but are there any other life changes you've made without telling me? No, nothing. Okay. At all, I promise. Okay. Except that I got into that textiles class, so I had to drop that gender studies class or whatever, but besides that. The one class we we're all gonna take together. <laughs> yeah, we have that. Are you for real right now? What? I'm still gonna see you like every day. But that's not the point. The point is he didn't think to tell me just like he didn't think to call me when he got back from Paris. Well, this is just starting to feel hella problematic. Are you tired of crying? The music's loud and I'm feeling wild. Come dance along with the golden child. I don't know much. I'm sorry. All good. I'm sorry too. Should have told you about the class and being home. I don't know why you think we need that hashtag shit or whatever. Because what if we're just hashtag long distance relationship goals? I don't know what that even means. 
We're just us. I didn't mean to put that filter on the photo. I had like a minute ago? Something like that. Come here, Grandpa. That ass, you know. <laughs> I just really want us to work. You know, it means something real to me. Like in real life. I love you, Zoe. Oh, God, that's the first time you've said that to me in person. <laughs> you didn't have to make it a whole thing or whatever. I was So thanks to a little help from Snapchat, Luca and I were back in sync. And thanks to streaming technology, you're watching a movie with happy, not enslaved black people in it. Don't say anything, just just smile, just smile. <laughs> Can we top shot it? Yeah. It's the one, kid. Text it to me, please. Jaw drop. Or he said, do you seriously? Died. You hit when my phone dies, but it's cool. No, it was... So you saw my text, read it, and then ignored it. No. You dismissed him and didn't think about it. Hot. No, that's not... I'm here. That probably was. I should just check. Just, let me just check. You're being mad extra. Right? Do you? I'm gonna watch the prices right with headphones. Babe, you're identical twin brothers here. <laughs> what you doing here? Well, you went ghost again, so I kind of used your location to track you. I mean, your phone hung up and you weren't answering my text. I knew something was wrong. Because mm -hmm. obviously your phone wouldn't just die again. That would be crazy. I'm sorry. I've just been really... What's happening again? Panic attack. Yeah, you want to tell me what happened? Well... I just don't get it. And sometimes people use rules to feel like they're in control. Because last night when you are at your boy's kickback and I couldn't get a hold of you, I low-key didn't feel in control, so... Right. I mean... Whatever, it's probably just stupid. I'm just, I'm just happy you feel better, you know? Thank you. I feel better. I hope so. <clears throat> now, um, <clears throat> I'll be, uh... I have no reflexes no, in that knee. Uh, your knee's broken. While my designs were a work in progress, the crew was pre-gaming at our place before heading over to Hawkins to watch the main event. Guys, look. <gasps> what was that? Was that an owl? No. Vantail pigeon. What? I with birds. And drugs. That was most definitely an owl. An owl? There can only be- Please. Wheelchair Jimmy does not even have the creative capacity to his music videos. Hey, singing into a mic most deaf doesn't make him a genius. I mean, like, come on, bruh. She don't want you. Move on. Okay, how are you- I with Windows 98. Our genius. Excuse? Guru, which all chief? No way this is Aubrey. Dude buys billboards, posts his drop dates on IG. Andre Pusher. A genius. Chief or Young Thug? Drake is pop. Popular. So, um... Really gonna compare the king of pop with the king of Toronto? Drake's mad average, basic. He's like the Cheesecake Factory. It's Look, I get it. We all like the old Kanye, but you can't take away his genius just because he had a few unpopular opinions. I'll take it away for other reasons. Have you heard his last two albums? Garbage. All right, I'll give it to you. Yeah, it was pretty messy, but Yandi is fire. It just proves that he can continue to shift culture. Uh, Unlike other rappers, he never conformed to the masses, and the masses conformed to him. Back me up, baby. Mm. Hey, Jazz, can we sidebar, please? This is why I don't do friends. But <laughs> so it's beautiful and everything, but it's a little confusing, right? It's all good art should be. That is such bullshit. And pushes the conversation forward. Any episode of Atlanta, for example. I don't want exactly my point. <laughs> Nobody knew what that episode was about, but everybody was talking about it. Well, I have to side with Luca on this one because Donald Glover is for sure a genius. You guys do realize that by calling everyone a genius. No one is a genius. Just completely waters down the label. It's so much more rare than you think. I don't stop me. Thanks, Nomi. You're only love me like it's a lie. Lost in thought, trying to figure out why Nomi's comments about Luca being a genius had bothered me so much. 
You good, kid? Task Rabbit guy's here. Gotta go grab my Yoshinoya boy. Guys, black people and... No, not a problem. But if I'm being honest, it did make me feel some type of way, okay? You still follow me, though, so... <laughs> no, it's that you don't think I'm one. Hey, you know what? Just go take a walk real quick, switch to energy. Sure. Later. Zoe, what's up? Talk to me real quick. What's going on? Why are you so upset? Mm, I don't know, but when Nomi called you a genius, it tapped into this, this weird insecurity of mine that I'm less than or not good enough. Why? That's just one incredibly high woman's opinion about one incredibly high man. Sure. But it's, it's facts. And you know, for 19 years of my life, my father's been telling me, like, Zoe, you're the best, Zoe. You're great at everything you do. Hey, Junior, move out of the way. I'm looking for your amazing sister. That was my life. Well, your dad wasn't wrong. But now I'm out of the house, and it's become abundantly clear that that's not the case. I'm not the best, and I don't think I'll, I'll ever get to that place. But real talk, everything you do is just fire. And I don't know why my light. I said in yours. Because I used to be you. I'm used to being the person everyone feels second best to, and now shoes on the other foot. Like, I don't take today's project, for example. No matter how long I spent on it or how much detail I put into it, you always manage to whip up something in like five minutes that stunts on everything. You really think it's that easy? For you, yeah. But you know, I also think it's amazing. And I wish I could do it. You know what? Let's just stop talking about this. Because I have humiliated myself enough. And I promise you, I am totally over it. Yeah, I'm good. I promise. Now let's just go catch this drop. Of course. Of course I've made us miss it. Of course I have. But the thing I realized was, designing from scratch was something I thought I wanted to do my whole life. But what it really was, was something I never wanted to do ever again. So it would kill me to say it out So it was back to the drawing board. And when I find that thing that inspired Luca to keep designing, that inspired Jazz to keep running, and it inspired this genius to keep stopping the world. And if I find that thing, I knew I'd have found my own genius. I must be proud, woman. Cause I am strong, woman. All right, ready? Dropping the design class I was taking with Luca seemed to lift the pressure off of me, my relationship, and honestly, life in general. I may not have found my genius yet, but Luca and I finally found our stride. I have a surprise for you, too. We're counting. I got Michelle Obama's holder. coming to our design class. Got me a ring holder. What is this velvet? Look at the craftsmanship in this. This is crazy. Luca? Well, Michelle supports independent designers like Jason Wu, and she was gonna. St uh, am I saying it wrong? Okay, so. Yeah, I'd love to have you come by the lab and help me get my designs together. Just look at him. He's so in his element. Did you forget the rose? There's no liquids in here. I need to apologize. It was a sweet idea. Thank you. I haven't even been here for one minute, and he's already throwing my ideas in the trash. Dope. Very best to let the supportive girlfriend side of me shine. 
but Luca's attitude was making it very, very hard. Can you go right to left, please? The way you're steaming, I need you to go right to left. Like Arabic? They're beautiful. It almost reminds me of um, Alexander McQueen's 1997 collection. Is it Plato and Atlantis? Are you calling me derivative? Uh, no, of course not. But everybody's inspired by somebody. I mean, wasn't it Picasso who said, good artists copy, great artists steal? Okay, so now I'm a thief, Zoe. Please help me help you help me. It's all good. It is all good. Because when he goes low, I'll go high. Like a bed. It's coming, but something's not quite right yet. Hey, uh, babe, sorry, but don't you think this collar dress combo may be a a little avant-garde for Ms. Michelle Obama. Meaning? Meaning, okay, you have to remember that this is a woman who wore J. Crew to an inauguration, so you may want to adapt a little to fit the taste of your audience, make it a little straightforward, a little more simple. Hmm. All right. Mass produce a mercantile cap sleeve mini dress and sell it for $74.99 to sorority girls who can't afford Michael Kors. I'm not here to pander to the mainstream or give off a two-bit department store vibe. I want to be original. I just think it's important to give people what they want. I, I get you're trying to help, but I think I need some more on time. Mm, happily. All right. You cannot quit. I hate that word. Genius? But <laughs> you are. Just stop saying that. It's the label that's got me messed up. Okay. I, I appreciate that. I mean, it's not flowing right now. Well, you... What are you doing? My best De Niro. We're mad goofy. Let's get it. Thanks for your help tonight. Yeah, of course. Are you coming? Uh, yeah, in a sec. Uh, what are you doing? If you hate it, all easily removable. The, 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 the jack... I, um, yeah. This is you? Yes, and I, I shouldn't have settled it without you, so I'm sorry about that. No, it's... It's perfect. Oh, my God. Thank you. What? So? She loved it. All right, what? Hey, what's that? I got a surprise for you. Oh, I was gonna wear it tomorrow. Turn it over. Yeah, she loved the dress, which was fire, but she immediately pointed out the styling, which was you. So I hope this is a decent consolation until you do. But you say you're a genius once, and because you want it fits, it fits you. Broken, you've got me living. Wow. You Jordan a pippin. I'm Kobe, I'm never gonna dish. But the night really became interesting when Cap. <sighs> Looks like your boy really messed up on this one. He didn't mess up. And he's not her boy. Did you even read the article? Up with Cash said it was a huge misunderstanding and that they're cool. Hold, enthusiastic, sober consent thing, it's some bull. What does enthusiastic, sober consent even mean? So maybe correcting bad grammar. Finishing with this massively unsexy policy. Oh, isn't it just about safety, though? I mean, I think this policy is just an extension of that, and I don't see what the problem is. Really? Mm -hmm. You don't get how... how not sexy something is for a second? I mean, women are and continue to be assaulted on campuses everywhere. Mm -hmm. And just because it wasn't the case this one time between Cash and the girl doesn't mean it's not happening constantly. Absolutely. And I... Hell no. 
I, uh, I think I'm with Vivek on this one. I mean, it's going to decimate our entire college experience. I would just prefer if you do those things one at a time. It's supposed to help us have positive sexual experiences. I don't need, I don't need the school telling me how to behave when I drink. Well, some people do. Yeah, like creepy ass cash. No, I'm talking about Anna. False. Yeah. I know some dudes have been assaulted. Nah, that's ridiculous. That is why dude felt like he couldn't say anything in the first place. And the fact that we're legit sitting here joking about it is super problematic. Yeah. Okay. I can see. Honestly, who cares? Because if this policy stops one incident from happening, I'd say it's worth it. I don't have to worry about that anymore. What are you talking about? Check the shade room. What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Poor little cash. While my crew and I were trying to get our heads around Cal Yu's new enthusiasm. We left because he wanted to. Or because he looks mad sus. Like, I don't know, he can only get girls when they're, uh, when they're super faded. I'm sorry. And, and then, you know, it gets to the point where stop. So you're telling me that you're having sex just to be polite? <clears throat> no one ever wants to. What? Please. He does kind of have a point. You might have been, but hipster dude with that bolo tie you brought home, definitely. He isn't wrong. Nope. Yeah, you know, you would know. Facts. Okay, but we're in a relationship. Everyone. All right, look, I, I get that this policy has its flaws, but if it makes people slow down and think, that's a good thing. Maybe Cash and that girl would have stopped and slowed down, and her credibility wouldn't be called into question, and Cash would still be here. Still be here? Yeah. So this is about dude. Explains why you've been writing for this policy so hard. Whatever. On that note, I think I'm out. What began as a group debate about a new policy at Cal U had suddenly turned into a fight for me and Luca. Why are you making this whole thing about cash? Mm, I'm pretty sure you're making it about cash. What? When? You know, we're in there discussing the policy and it's not like I'm on dude's side. Really? Because the other night you really seemed like you were team cash. That's why you're so pressed? Well, I was gonna talk about your little reunion, My but now you wanna sit up here and defend dude, talk about how you wish you was still here, so... First of all, that's not what I said, and second of all, you're being delusional because nothing happened that night. So... You know what, that's... that's on me. Yeah, you know what it is. Zoe, I'm sorry. All right, well, why don't you consider talking to me next time rather than treating me like I'd ever be disloyal? I think we go somewhere with that. Hey, just wondering uh, if I could make...